Retire Rich, Mastering Long-Term Investing Strategies Have you ever thought about what your retirement might look like? Let's take a moment to imagine. Perhaps you see yourself lounging on a beach, sipping a tropical drink as the sun sets, or maybe you envision a cozy cabin nestled in the woods, a perfect place for a peaceful retreat. It could be that you dream of traveling the world, exploring new cultures, cuisines, and landscapes. Whatever your vision, one thing is for sure. To make these dreams a reality, you'll need a comfortable nest egg. This is where retirement planning comes in. It's about ensuring that you have enough savings to support your lifestyle when you decide to call it a day on your working life. But how do you build such a fund? The answer lies in long-term investing. Long-term investing is a strategy that involves buying and holding investments for an extended period, usually several years or even decades. It's not about making a quick buck, instead it's about growing your wealth steadily and surely over time. It's about patience, discipline and having the foresight to think about your future. The potential benefits of long-term investing are considerable. For starters it allows you to take advantage of the power of compound interest. Albert Einstein once called compound interest, the eighth wonder of the world, and for a good reason. It's the process where the interest you earn on your investments starts earning interest itself. Over time this snowball effect can lead to substantial growth in your investment portfolio. But remember, while the rewards can be great, long-term investing is not without its risks. It requires a well-thought-out strategy, careful selection of investments, and an understanding of market dynamics. It's not just about throwing money into the stock market and hoping for the best. It's about making informed decisions that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. So, with all this in mind, are you ready to learn about the golden rules of long-term investing? Before we dive into the power of compounding, it's essential to understand the groundwork of successful investing. You see, investing isn't just about putting your money into stocks and waiting for it to grow, it's a process that requires planning, understanding, and patience. First you need to set clear financial goals. What do you want to achieve with your investments? Are you aiming for a comfortable retirement, buying a house, or perhaps funding your child's education? Having clear goals will guide your investment decisions and keep you focused. Next you need to understand your risk tolerance. All investments come with some degree of risk, however, different investment types have different levels of risk associated with them. Can you handle a significant loss, or would you prefer a safer, slower-growing investment? Knowing your risk tolerance can help you choose the right investments. Finally, you need to diversify your portfolio. This means spreading your investments across a variety of assets to reduce risk. If one investment performs poorly, others may perform well and balance it out. Remember, successful investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making consistent, well-informed decisions over time. So, are you ready to set the stage for successful investing? Before we move on to the next scene, we have a call to action for you. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Also, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and tell us, what does your dream retirement look like? Ever heard of the term compound interest? It's your best friend in long-term investing. Let's break this down. Compound interest is essentially interest on interest. When you invest money, you earn interest on your initial amount, or principal. But with compounding, you also earn interest on the interest you've already earned. It's like a snowball effect. The more it rolls, the bigger it gets. So why is this so beneficial for long-term investments? Well, the magic lies in the time factor. The longer you leave your money invested, the more time it has to grow and compound. Over time, even a small investment can grow into a substantial amount. Let's illustrate this with a hypothetical scenario. Imagine you invest $1,000 at an interest rate of 5% per annum. After the first year, you earn $50 in interest. Now in the second year, you're not just earning interest on your initial $1,000, but also on the $50 you earned in the first year. So you earn $52.50 in the second year. Now this might not seem like a significant increase, but fast forward 20 years. By then, your $1,000 would have grown to approximately $2,650. That's more than double your initial investment, without you having to lift a finger. Here's another scenario. Two friends, Alex and Bailey, both start investing at different ages. Alex starts at 20 and invests $200 a month until he's 60. Bailey starts at 40 and invests $400 a month until she's 60. Despite investing the same total amount, Alex ends up with substantially more money. Why? because he gave his investments more time to compound. 
and that's the power of compounding. It's not just about the money you invest, it's about the time you give your investments to grow. The earlier you start, the better. Just as a snowball grows bigger as it rolls down a hill, your investment can grow larger with the power of compounding. When it comes to investing, variety is the spice of life. Just as you wouldn't want to eat the same food for every meal, you don't want to put all your investment eggs in one basket. This is where the concept of diversification comes into play. Diversification, in the world of investing, is the practice of spreading your investments around in order to reduce risk. Imagine you're at a fruit market. You could put all your money into apples, but what happens if there's a bad apple season? Suddenly, you're out of luck and out of money. But if you spread your funds around, buying not just apples, but oranges, bananas, and grapes too, a bad apple season won't hit you as hard. In the investing world, these fruits could be different types of investments such as stocks, bonds, real estate, or even different industries within these categories. If one sector or type of investment takes a hit, your other investments can help balance out your portfolio. Let's take the tech industry for instance. If you have all your investments in tech stocks and the industry takes a downturn, your portfolio will suffer. But if you also have investments in healthcare, manufacturing, and utilities, these sectors might be performing well and can offset the losses from the tech sector. Diversification doesn't guarantee that you won't lose money but it does help manage risk. It's like having a safety net. If one part of the net breaks, the rest of the net is still there to catch you. But remember, diversification isn't just about spreading risk. It's also about maximizing reward. Different investments perform well at different times. By having a diverse portfolio, you're more likely to have some investments that are doing well, even if others aren't. In conclusion, diversification is a key strategy in long-term investing. It's about not putting all your eggs in one basket, but rather spreading them out to balance risk and reward. Just like a well-balanced diet leads to better health, a well-diversified portfolio can lead to better financial health. Remember diversification is about balancing risk and reward. In investing consistency can quite literally pay off. What does this mean exactly? Well imagine you're a gardener. You wouldn't water your plants just once and expect them to flourish, right? You'd water them regularly, with care, and over time they'd grow. The same principle applies to investing. It's not about putting in a chunk of money once and expecting it to multiply overnight. It's about nurturing your portfolio over time, feeding it consistently, regardless of whether the investment climate is sunny or stormy. It's easy to get swept up in the hype of a skyrocketing stock or panic when the market takes a nosedive. But remember, investing is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's not about quick wins or avoiding every fall. It's about staying the course, keeping your eyes on the finish line, even when the race gets tough. So how does consistent investing lead to greater growth in the long run? Well, it's all about dollar cost averaging. This is a strategy where you invest a fixed amount regularly, regardless of the price of the investment. When prices are low, your fixed amount will buy more shares. And when prices are high, it will buy fewer. Over time, this can result in a lower average cost per share, maximizing your potential for long-term gains. And remember, the power of compounding is your best friend in this journey. Each dollar you invest can earn interest and then that interest can earn interest and so on. This snowball effect can lead to significant growth over time. But for compounding to work its magic, it needs time and regular contributions. So let's bring it all together. Consistency in investing is about sticking to your strategy, not getting swayed by market highs and lows, and making regular contributions to your portfolio. It's about understanding that investing is a long-term game, and the key to winning is patience and persistence. Consistency isn't about timing the market, it's about time in the market. So keep watering those investments and watch them grow. So let's recap what we've learned about long-term investing strategies. We started our journey by visualizing retirement as a destination. The road to retirement might seem long and winding, but with the right strategy, it's a journey that can be navigated with confidence. Our first pit stop was at the power of compounding. Just like a snowball rolling down a hill, the size of your investment can grow exponentially over time. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to multiply. As Albert Einstein famously said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it, he who doesn't, pays it. Next we took a detour to discuss diversification. In the world of investing it's never a good idea to put all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across different asset classes and sectors, you can mitigate risk and increase the potential for returns. 
Diversification is like an insurance policy against market volatility. It's not about making quick gains, but about limiting potential losses. Our final destination was consistency. In the realm of long-term investing, consistency is key. Regular investments regardless of market conditions can result in significant gains over time. It's not about timing the market, but about time in the market. The road to retirement requires a good map and a reliable vehicle. The map is your investment strategy, outlining your route and your stops along the way. The vehicle is your investment portfolio, powered by compounding, diversified for safety, and driven with consistency. Remember, investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It is a long-term commitment that requires patience, discipline, and a clear understanding of your financial goals. With these strategies in mind, you're well on your way to building a solid retirement fund. Remember the journey to financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint.